Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Medium of the Light Tarot. Thought I was recording and I wasn't. So I have the first three cards out for you, Virgos. Now, if you are new here, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back, my friend. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Looks like a choice needs to be made here. This is you, this is them, this is the storyline. Flip these two as it resonates with you. You've got the Five of Wands, the Death card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Your person has the Seven of Swords, the Nine of Cups, and the Devil card. Looks like you're, you guys have been fighting. You're fighting within your mind. With the death card here, there's something that needed to shift and change. And with this Knight of Pentacles looking off in the direction that is not anywhere near the reading, it looks like you are making some kind of a choice here. Yeah, there's definitely defensiveness and fighting. You feel like you've done everything that you can and you're frustrated with the death card. You thought you were getting a commitment. You thought this was going to go to the next level. But with this Knight of Pentacles, it's moving very, very slowly with the Queen of Cups. You're kind of going, okay, well, this is taking too long. You know, I'm feeling defensive about this, you know, and your person here is feeling like someone is getting away with something and they're heartbroken as well with this five of cups. They're lamenting over what could have been when there's these two cups behind them. They have the wish fulfillment card here with the chariot. So they do want to move forward. They do want to move forward with you. But the devil card here is the queen of wands. They have some kind of an addiction that you're not real excited about. <laughs> Sorry, the reason why I'm laughing, I'm like, who's excited if someone else has an addiction? I'm hearing it's an addiction to other people partying. You know, they have a lot of passion that they, they want to spread around. With this three of pentacles is the six of cups so it's you know wanting to build a solid foundation with someone who is a soulmate twin flame coming back from the past you know that's what you were wanting i think they that they were wanting it too and that's why there was fighting and defensiveness because that's what they they thought they wanted also but when it came down to it they're not ready to let go of this addiction but the Dark Knight of the Soul here is the Page of Cups. There's lots of mixed messages. Your person kind of flip-flops between showing up, being all in, and then you don't hear from them for a couple of weeks. While they're off, you know, you're hearing from other people that they're gallivanting, doing things, partying, doing drugs. With this Six of Swords here is the Eight of Pentacles. So it looks to me like you're just like, you know what? Screw it. You do you and I'm going to work on me. You know, with this Choices card here for the overall, you want justice. You want justice. You know, and they do too because they want Wish Fulfillment and... You know, they have the chariot card to move forward, but this devil card, this addiction is trapping them. They don't know how to control their, it's like they don't have control of their own passion. And you're wanting to manifest something that is lasting.
you know, you want them to come forward in a fast manner and say, okay, I'm ready. But you know now that you're not going to get that. I think in the past you were kind of like, oh, well, I'm holding out hope. I'm holding out hope. But I think now you're seeing that you need to move forward, making, you know, making a choice towards justice and your justice. Yeah, your person is not really able to stay grounded. They're very flighty, unbalanced, a pleasure seeker. They might even be into gambling or how, I, how should I say, like wasting one's money being a pleasure seeker. Spending lots and lots of money. And I think at the beginning they showered you with lots of attention, lots of money. Not giving you money, but, you know, taking you out, doing these things. But you're just over it. You're just like, you know what? I'm done. And you've had some conversations with friends and family. You've got the support that you need to move forward. Now, if this was resonating with you, please make sure you give this a thumbs up so it gets spread around to other Virgos that need to hear this healing message. You know, it's like they're, they're fighting their own mind. But I think this addiction keeps them very ungrounded so they, can, so they can't really get a clear sense of how to move forward in a productive manner. And of course, ego is in the way. The birth card came out. Either you are pregnant or they're getting someone pregnant or have already gotten someone. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back for you. Because of their... Um, their unstableness. Now, guys, is there anything that you would like to say here? They're saying that you're glad that you're, they are glad that you're moving on. This is definitely something that needs to be let go of, even though there's this, you know, connection. This person is very, very ungrounded. And there's definitely deception going on. And now with this, with this birth card, you know that for sure. Go ahead and leave a comment down below if this is, you know, this is your story and you know what it is. Because you know I'm nosy if you've been here before. I like to hear other people's storylines and how it coincides with a public reading. So this is the second reference to the devil card. This person's in pretty deep. They're not in their right mind. And I don't think they have been even before they met you. I think that they had, um, they had kind of slowed down on the addiction and was able to hide it and be prosperous at that time. And then something triggered them to where they got back into it. You know, they might have been in recovery and never let you know. And then they fell off and fell hard. Now it's time for you to seek some solitude, which I'm sure that you have already been doing. Your person is very unawakened. And you are awakening. You know, with the solitude card, I mean, this has been something that's been very painful for you. You know, and making you feel like a victim. Because you wanted union. When your person was sober, I think they, they wanted to work towards that too, even though that they, that they knew that they weren't ready. But a part of them did want it because it is a soulmate twin flame connection.
I feel like you needed to take this action here with this seven of cups going, okay, I've got to do something. And after you found out that they have, you know, got someone else pregnant or, you know, whatever the case may be, you knew you had to take action to end this, that this was turning into a very, what I'm hearing is sick and twisted situation, you know, with the third party involved. Now I'm going to take this particular one into an extended. Um, I feel like there's a lot to unpack in this one. I'm generally not going to do uh, an extended if I don't feel that it is necessary. So what I do is a little differently is I do $5 for the reading. However, you pay the $5 if you can watch any of my extendeds that I have. And there's quite a library there for any sign. So the description or the link will be down in the description box. Yeah, they were doing lots of masking, lots of pretending. You know, and with this third party, interestingly, and I guess it's not really that interesting, but what I'm getting when I tuned into the third party is this person is doing the same, has the same drug ha habit, obviously, as your person. And so, um, this your person is disgusted by this person that they got pregnant. I mean, literally disgusted. Like, the only time that they ever have, you know, relations is when they were high and your person they're the person that they got pregnant doesn't deal but they know the people they know the suppliers and they know they know how to they know how to have all these different avenues of getting it to where your person doesn't go dry which before your person didn't know you know like if this person's out then, you know, I can go find some there. Your person didn't have those resources. This third party person that your person can't stand, um, they, you know, your person uses them for the drugs, which is very sad. And you know that this is a soulmate connection. This is the second reference to that. And I know that this is very painful for you, but... You know, it's something that needed to be done and you needed to take a pause so you could look at the situation in a clearer manner than you were before. I think your your heart was clouded in love and really wanting this to work out. Because, of course, you didn't know that your person is an addict of whatever that is, alcoholic, whatever. Well, I guess... Alcohol is probably always somewhat included, but, you know, sorry, a card's gone flying. So, of course, this is going to bring you grief. You know, and if your person wasn't always high, they would be grieving too. I think it just feels like they're so driven by it. And right now, you feel like you, you need to reinvent yourself. You need to get yourself, you needed to get yourself out of the situation. Sorry, cards keep flying. You know, I think this person has gone completely cold on you. I think eventually you just had to block them because, you know, for you to have to, I don't want to say, hear what's going on oh, okay so what i'm hearing is that when they would get high they would call you and then then they would ignore you when you know they weren't high so it was this really awful situation and of course that's not how it started you know because they th you know they call you when they're high because they do love you but right now the addiction is more powerful than the love. Now in the extended we're going to go into 
what's going to be happening in the future. And um, if you would like to get a personal reading, the information is down in the description box as well. And, you know, and of course, every time when I go into an extended, when I leave the regular reading, it's in one direction. And then when I go into the extended, since it goes so much deeper, um, you know, there's turns of events, of course, for the future, potential future that I cannot see until we start it. So I hope that this was helpful and brought some clarity. You did do the right thing and letting go and choosing to move forward. All right, so if you don't choose to go to the extended, I wish you the best of luck in your new life with, um, you know, rebuilding it and healing yourself. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.